remember I had redone the, uh, I had added subdivisions. So in my geometry, I'm actually going back and I'm lowering all these subdivisions down. So I'm going down here. And once I have them lowered, I'm actually gonna go up here. We're gonna go to pre-process all. And this should, should go a lot faster. It's a lot easier for it to handle. So you can see now it's, it's pre-processing barrel two. So it's just gonna run through this really quick. And this should work this time. Hopefully it does. Uh, once I pre-processed it, I'll be able to decimate it. And once it's decimated, then I can merge it into one piece and then export it. Okay, so there, see that was much, much faster. And so now we're just gonna go to decimate all and it's going to do 20 percent decimation so now it's switching to sub tool four barrel four and it's just going to go through here and basically try to maintain the same mesh and everything just decimate it down if we look if we zoom in we're, we're starting to see a lot of that decimation already so let's let's do this and it's already been pre-processed so we can actually do i'm going to do that even larger decimate current so this is just going to focus on the barrel and if you want to see what it's doing i believe if you hit shift f yeah shift f so there's the mesh and let's just keep hitting this with a decimation again decimate current oh, so we're going to do a larger percentage decimate current you can see how it's just reducing and reducing the mesh density what well, it should be so let's sometimes if you want to do that at all again we're going to do we'll just pre-process all again so now if we pre-process it it's going to put that as the new base level so if i do a decimation of 20 percent they'll be much larger and cut back much more information so let's shift f shift f just to see what we got here and shift f is pulling up my mesh so now i'm going to do a 20 percent decimate to all and it'll run through that really quick quickish and look at that, now it's getting, that's much more reasonable. I should be able to bring that into a 3D coat, no problem. I'm gonna go a little further because we still have the silhouettes there, the shapes there. It's looking fine. So I'm gonna do one more pre-process again. Pre-process all. Notice how every time I'm doing this faster and faster and faster too is because it's dealing with a lot less tries and everything like that. And we're gonna do another 20% for all. And see how this looks there we go that's a really really simplified mesh let's look at the, all the pieces here yeah that is that is nice it's actually kind of a cool looking style to it as well but anyway so let's take this and I'm gonna save this as uh, barrel decimated just to have the backup in case something goes wrong along this along these lines and now we're going to go back to our subtool master, subtool master, merge, and it's going to OK. And that's really nice and snappy. And I'll um, export this out as barrel merged um, MP just for mid poly. Save. And now we're going to go over to 3D Coat. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.